I'm gonna go cry somewhere for a minute, guys. I'll be right back. Hello everybody and welcome back. I still haven't figured out why it's dark. It's been like two and a half seconds since I started the last video. Or since I ended the last video. I am retarded. Anyway, so... Let's just get one thing straight. I'm gonna fail this. 100%. Guaranteed gonna fail this. But we've already done... We've already done one of everything. At least one of everything. This doesn't count. One of everything. So, Bonnie f from Parts and Services. Me and him don't really like each other. We've never really liked each other. Freddy and I are okay, though. I say that, but fun time Freddy kicked my horse last round. <sighs> okay, let's see if this is... And I remember you had to be like really delicate. Welcome oh, back to parts God, and service. Why I think this is a oh, good no. idea. It looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. No. First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat pipe. To access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. You must be as precise as possible when removing the eyes from their respective sockets. First, firmly grip Bonnie's left eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Great job. Deposit the left eye in the... Well done. Now, firmly grip Bonnie's right eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Deposit the right eye in the cleaning receptacle <laughs> on your right. What happened? Well... That's kind of disappointing. I have no idea what happened. Are Did you I... having fun yet? That's great to hear. Do I ever get to talk? And why do you come and go as you please? I feel like that's kind of a dick move. All right, look, 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 look. Listen, listen, listen. I didn't actually fix anything from the last video, so. It seems like everything seems to be in relatively good order right now. So... Right back to FNAF 1, I guess? Motion oh. trigger. Breaker room. No. Oh. Okay, um... Well done. Oh, man. Shoot. That one actually is that one. Let's see, so... Well done. So this one opens up now, I'm assuming. I'm gonna go cry somewhere for a minute, guys. I'll be right back. Alright, so I took a quick water break and uh, I think I had a heart attack.
because I really don't want to do this anymore. So, Innard is officially off the list for things I'm going to do, at least right away, anyway, I'm not going to do it. I'll probably do it off screen, but record me doing it, because I'm retarded, that way. Parts and service is going to wait. Dark rooms. Now, I never got to play FNAF 4 enough. Mostly because I just constantly piss myself. Why are you still here? Anyway, so, from what I know, I think, I think Balloon Boy works the same way as Plush Trap, but I think he actually says hello. I oh, don't know, we're just going to learn. Oh, jeez. Is it when he says hello? hello? If you say hello every time you move, this suddenly becomes... If you laugh every time you run. Okay, so those laughs are different. Oh. And there he goes. That time. He did not do anything that time, and I didn't hear anything that time either. Oh. Ooh, okay. That was honestly. That was simultaneously the most intense jump scare. With the most just un. just most confusing timing ever. And I don't know how the hell it got me. Like. What? Oh, uh, I might not just plaster in this one onto a different video. Maybe I don't know. Uh, I'm not going anywhere in terms of anything. And you're gone. Is it just me, or do you guys see a skull on the wall? I may be seeing things, but you, you, I can like faintly make out a skull on the wall. And I hate it. I, I genuinely hate it. I'm terrified of skeletons. I admit it right here, right now. You heard it from me, folks. I'm terrified of skeletons. I have one in me. Doesn't make me any less terrified. I just don't like them. <laughs> I, I never figured out why exactly, but... I always thought it had something to do with the fact that what's inside you stays inside you. You don't, you're, you don't want that coming out. Now, night two is a bit tricky. But, 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 but. I can turn the fan off. Uh, also, uh, check on the curtain in Pirate That's cool. Cove from time to time. The character in there seems unique in that he becomes more active than the camera and remain off for long periods. That scared me so bad, dude. I'm sure you have everything in We got the it's me though. Oh, hi Chica. Did 
That is really cool. Okay, I said hi to Chica. 32% power. That's not much appreciated, Freddy. I don't much like that. Yo! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, dude, 420 is screwed. There's no way your brain can hyper focus on doing all of those tasks in VR without screwing up once. I just thought about that. I'm like, man, 420 is so amazing. It's a little vampire chica thing. Whoa, okay. Yeah, I think I had enough VR, though. <laughs> Already. Already tripping. Hey, three, huh? Ah, uh, see, I think this video was long enough as is, and I'm already messing. I'm already freaking slipping and sliding around. It's not a good idea, but we have five now. We have five. Oh no! Please tell me I can eat an actual cockroach. <laughs> like, you know, I actually be able to grab the ball. Let's see what happens if I boost myself up a bit, be my actual height. Turn back to the home menu. You know. Let me see you if I. You're gone. Alright. I've actually collected them in order, surprisingly. Look, man, do we need to have an intervention? You can't just follow me into... Can I tell me where the hell we are? I mean, sure, this looks like the void, but... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna turn around. I think my fish is up still listening off the tapes, so... I'll mute myself. And... We're gonna listen to the tapes, and once those tapes are done being listened to, I'll come back and I'll give my input. Alright, let's uh, play the first tape here. Hello? Can you hear me? Don't exit this room, okay? This isn't a mistake. This room isn't a mistake. I had to hide these logs away from the core gameplay files in a place that only a beta tester would look, and in a place where the files could be protected. I just really, really hope that the next development team finds this before the game is released to the public. This game has some kind of malicious code in it that we haven't been able to fully contain, or even understand for that matter. We're over budget and out of time. But that's not the reason that we're shutting down. Listen. I have to keep this short, so the file size will be small enough to fly under the radar. There are more. They may not be in order. Alright, the line, they might not be in order, is obviously in reference to the tapes. So far, I've seen gotten all of them in order. 
Which means that I clearly didn't do something right beforehand, or you're still waving at me. Clearly I didn't do something right beforehand. So, next tape. I saw it for the first time today. There was a character, I couldn't make out who it was, standing at the end of the hall. I thought it was just bugged out, so I made a note of it and kept playing. But then it was looking in the window, and not like Chica or Bonnie would. It was like it was actually looking in the window, seeing what I was doing. Oh boy, you mean that guy? That, that, uh, that dude. I know what his name is, clearly, but, I mean, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> Your spring trap, it's glitchy, it's glitch trap, it's not that hard to name. Next one. I heard a pretty heated conversation this morning between Dale, our manager, and someone else on the line. It really feels like this project is in trouble, in no small part because of the lawsuit, I'm sure. There has to be a lawsuit, there's no way there isn't. It happened in this building just a few doors down from me. I think it's made worse by the fact that Jeremy tried to tell us something was wrong, but as a dev team, we all just saw it as a challenge to find what the problem was and fix it. Who could have known that? I have to go. We're hearing Jeremy's name again. And he's still there. I I think he has some issues with his, his cranium. Let's just get back to the uh video. Let's just get to the tape though. Have you ever heard of a guillotine paper slicer? It sounds made up, but it's an actual piece of office equipment. I didn't even know we had one in the supply room. I guess the more common at businesses that do a lot of graphic design work. I remember seeing one when I was still in school, and even then, I knew how dangerous it looked. I was always afraid of losing a finger. That seems so silly now. Jeremy used to do design work. I guess that's how he knew it was there. Come again? Jeremy... Dice's... Oh, ooh. That, uh, that hit me directly in the chest. Anyone else got cold chills yet? Anyone? No, just me who pissed myself. Alright, look, look, look. I've been recording for two hours now, and I ran out of commentary about as soon as I started the first video. But, I, I was always thinking about, like, There's obviously something missing, right? Oh yeah, Bonnie's plush is right over there. Um... Anyway... I think that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I, um, hope I'm... Alright, yeah, I was, I was, I mean... Okay. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please leave a like and comment what your favorite part of this video was, as well as all the other ones if you haven't already seen them. They will be put into a playlist as soon as they go out, or as they're already out, and you're watching this the day it comes out. Congratulations, you, you're better than I am at watching YouTube. I'll see you guys when I inevitably have to actually play this game again. Peace. Thank you.